Hello, welcome to Zero2ProTraining.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this session, I'll talk about service-oriented architecture. We'll be discussing a series of jargons in coming sessions. In this session, we will focus on service-oriented architecture, also known as SOA. So what is SOA all about? Let's say we have a software, call it Service Consumer. It wants to talk to another software let's call that a service provider so the consumer software is going to send a service request a message to the provider software the provider is going to reply back with a service response when the request is received by the service provider software it is processed by a service so what is a service a service is a well-defined function that does not depend on the state of other services. The consumer software needs to know how to call this service, for example, what arguments or parameter the service is expecting, and also it needs to know what kind of response the service would be sending back to the consumer. Now it's important to know that SOA is a solution for making two software communicate to each other. A human being can interact with a keyboard uh, with a software. For example, when you fill out a web page form, you can easily do that because on one side we have a human, on the other side we have a software. But when two software talk to each other, there has to be a discipline in place. So that is where SOA comes into the picture. So this implementation can be used for in any form you like. For example, web services is an implementation of service-oriented architecture. We'll talk about web services in detail in coming sessions. In this session, I just wanted to give you an overview of what SOA is all about.